Do you need help getting down? No. <laughs> the snow would be such a. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, you know your boots. Yeah. <laughs> Like I find all the snacks on Instagram and that's where I found this. I'm excited about the bronze box. So you've done a subscription box before or not really? Not really. I've done like Blue Apron, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. But I, I don't like to actually prepare the ingredients. I like stuff that comes ready made and you can just actually stick your hand in a bag and eat it right away. Man, the bronze box is for you. So this is made up by a couple and you can order just one if you want to. It can get delivered to you monthly or bi-monthly. But all of these are small black owned businesses and then a portion of the proceeds, 20% of the proceeds goes to MKE Black. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that before, but they advocate on behalf of small black owned businesses. So it's just like this big full circle. Yes, really cool and they things. all get together and do these kinds of things. I've seen a lot of these things pop up like that too, not just with food, but my wife who works for Channel 4, Kristen Burns, she's uh, done some stories on these places that have like different kinds of merchandise and they have like these little malls and stuff so it's it, there's a lot of things like that popping up joe the bronze box thank you for supporting bronze box your purchase supports a number of black owned businesses in the midwest additionally 20 percent of profits will be donated to mke black yeah cool. so this is right out of lush popcorn this is the milwaukee mix i'm sure you've had chicago mix popcorn with the caramel corn yeah and yeah the cheddar this one just kind of hits it up a notch because it's also got a chipotle cheddar in there you want to open that bad we've boy done up. some taste test tuesdays where we've had like different kinds of popcorn so mm -hmm. people love their popcorn people love their caramel corn yeah so this is yeah and while you open that Homemade i'm just going to talk about a couple of the other ones this is an ellis island jamaican sweet tea uh this is out of detroit this one is muffins plus more some nice gourmet cookies this is um an ohio company but then this is the other wisconsin one fortune nuts like fortunate oh um, you're but very fortune nut nuts. to have the bronze box and so. i want to say they said this is out of hartford mm, maybe i'm not exactly sure bronzeboxgifts.com yeah so bronzeboxgifts.com bad boys is right and they've got a couple of different ones i think they have ones uh, that you could do with a family they've got bigger boxes smaller boxes lots of different price points on these and with tate's test tuesday we've been supporting a lot of local businesses which has been really fun to see how these local businesses not even just in wisconsin but there obviously there's some ohio and what was the other state detroit detroit michigan so mm -hmm. how people are getting creative getting the word out there and surviving and coming up with different ways to do business and give us delicious things mm -hmm. so these are just like those candied roasted almonds that you used to smell at Mayfair in Christmas time. Oh. They'd be in those cones, but now you can have it all year long, even when it's freezing outside. Ooh, could you warm these up in your microwave? I swear, you oh, keep I talking about how good these are. Mm. That's good. That's got some spice and sweet and salt to it, all in one handful. Ooh, so you want to go for the handful. Did you try and get all of it in your mouth at the same time? Yeah, like I did. all the different flavors? I did. I did. It's going to be messy, but whatever. These fortune nuts, I, I love that smell. Mm -hmm. This just takes you back to State Fair. This has got a little summer fest taste to it, and we miss our festivals. So here you go a little festival in a box. This is really cool because I feel like the caramel corn like, hits you right away. And then as you're chewing, that's kind of when that. A uh, little spicy, I don't know if it's a chipotle or like a Cajun spice. Yeah. But it's nice because it... It's not like too spicy. Oh, no. I would give this to Molly in a heartbeat. <laughs> give it to your kids. <laughs> it's fun to give your kids really spicy things and see what their reaction is. Not like too spicy. Hey, we get bored in quarantine. Whatever. I was like, Truman, <laughs> try this habanero. No, it's fine. <laughs> Ghost peppers. Uh -huh. If they don't like something, they just call it spicy. I don't like it. It's too spicy. Yeah carbonated things carbonated spicy. things yeah oh the soda's too spicy um a portion of the proceeds like i said goes to mke black and they help really just advocate for black owned businesses around the city but if you're looking for something new and something different then you can discover all the foods that you didn't know you loved bronze box what you said i'm enjoying my cookie and we want to call attention to the nice mural here this is a local artist 
We're on Vleet Street, if you want to see it. 